Good. All right. Shall we give everyone a tour of your place? Yes. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Today I want to talk about、um, the setup that we have for Toto inside our house. Mostly is this playpen. Hopefully you can see it, and、uh, the crate. The two things connect with each other. <laughs> so it's already ten o'clock at night. So I guess Toto is really to sleep. The playpen. We use these two, like these things. Uh, that come with the、uh, playpen to connect with the crate, so this way it sort of creates a bigger. Hey, uh, 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 no, no, yeah, he likes to choose on this. Unfortunately, uh, uh, good. So,、um, yeah, connecting these two things sort of give him a bigger space, so that you know when we typically put him here if we are not at home. Or if you know, like during the night when he sleeps, because、um, these times when we are not around, we don't want him to do free free roam, because you know potentially he will either destroy the stuff、uh, stuff in the house or get himself hurt, because you know that's what corgi、uh, that's what corgis do. Come here. I think he's ready to sleep,、um, but yeah. So、um, and that's why we have this setup. We don't want to put him in the just the crate because、uh, that sort of limit his、um, movement. I think with this setup, compared with the crate, usually people put the dog in the crate for like I don't know four or five hours.、Um, like I feel like that's just like such a small space. With the pen, you sort of has a larger room to move around、uh, if he wants. Although I think most of the time, when he is in here,、uh, if we are away, he's just so it's just sleeping. Inside this pen, you can see we also use this potty pad. This is used mostly when people are house training、uh, puppies because these are waterproof. By the way, <laughs> this is the water ball so that Toto can. Drink whenever、uh, he wants. Toto drinks a lot of water in general. <laughs> uh, anyway, potty pad. Yes, this is waterproof. If you are house training a puppy, it's easy for you to clean up if、uh, if there is an accident. But we use this actually day to day because we find it helpful, you know, for a couple of reasons. First is,、uh, yeah, it's waterproof, so in case Toto still has accidents here, it's easy for us to clean when we are, we are home. But also, it sort of protects the floor a little bit.、Uh, like sometimes he he runs around and digs on the floor. Third、uh, reason is that this collects. If you can see here, these clats all the all the furs that Toto sheds. Corgis shed a lot. These furs will be sort of collected here instead of just fly around the house. I mean, he still sheds a lot of furs outside of this playpen, so our house is still has a lot of that. But I guess this helps a little bit, right, Toto? What you what you trying to do? What you trying to do? Are you trying to find a good place to sleep? I know it's your bedtime. We don't usually、uh, keep toys、um, in the pen. What we usually do is,、uh, if we are heading out, we will give him a treat. We will put inside one of these toys, like these chew toys. This is not. These are like sort of soft rubber toys, so then he can play around and then、uh, have the treat. I guess he. He's trying to figure out if、uh, we have put any treats there, and you can see、uh, the crate has a bed as well. In our previous videos, we probably mentioned that we didn't give Toto a bed because he chose all the beds we give him. Somehow, I guess this one he chose the least. We also gave his bed to him while he was going through the tooth extraction surgery. At that time, he was very low on energy, and he sort of just. Sleep on this bed for all day. I think after that he sort of accepted this bed and he doesn't chew that much. So yeah, I mean, Toto finally has its own bed.
What? What? Did you hear anything weird? We figure out this setup over time. This is definitely not like this initially. Initially, we also have this a blanket covering the crate because uh, I think we read online that this helps puppies sleep while like if there are noises around. We also use, uh, used to have the playpen instead of like attached to the crate. Uh, we have the playpen sort of cut off the entire area for him uh, so that he can like actually run around inside this place. But then we sort of didn't do that anymore because whenever we are at home, we actually let him out so he can run freely inside the house. And this setup is only for when we are away. So, you know, he doesn't need that much uh, space. Two more things. This is just a camera that pointing to the crate and uh, the pen so that we can sort of check on him while we are away. Although I think 99% of the time when we check out the camera, uh, I think he's, uh, he's sleeping inside the crate or inside the pen. This thing, it's just a plastic, plastic lid from like one of those container boxes. We put it between the crate and the wall because there is a time, Toto, not sure it's because he gets bored or just gets suddenly curious about the wall. He chews the wall, he actually chews a hole out of the wall. Like he chews out of the wall, like through the crate. So ever since then, uh, we put a lid between these two things so that, you know, he doesn't chew, destroy our wall any longer. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I guess Toto has this sort of one bedroom, one living room set up, if you will. And uh, hope uh, he's being enjoyed this. Are you enjoying this? Do you feel comfortable sleeping here? Should we say goodnight? <laughs> I think because we leave the, the door of the crate open, he's waiting for us to free him. He always wants to go out. He always wants to play. He doesn't uh, really want to go to sleep, especially if there are people around. I guess it's time to sleep. Yeah, that's it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in other videos, right? I guess good night.